Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to print a pattern. That is we want to print stars in the right triangle shape. So this is the pattern. This pattern is the reverse of the previous pattern, right? If we inverse that pattern, we'll get this shape. All right, so without talking much, let's begin with the program. So here I have the program which we discussed in the previous tutorial. That is to print stars in the right triangle shape. That is this shape. And today's pattern is inverse of this pattern. That's why I'll take this program and I'll do the changes to this program and I'll show you how to get the output. So here, this is the string concatenation method, right? The second method to print the stars in the right triangle shape. So for now, I'll comment this. We'll use the nested for loop method. Like previous pattern programs, here also we'll ask the user to enter the number of row. Because in these patterns, number of row and number of columns are related. We won't ask the user to enter the number of column. We'll just ask the user to enter the number of rows, right? And we'll store that entered input in the variable n. Because here I'm using the input function here to take the input from the user, but I'm using Python 3 here. And in Python 3 by default, this input function will take input as the string value. But here we want number of row, that is the integer value. That's why I use int function here. Next, to print any pattern in different row and column. If the pattern contain different row and column, that means we need two for loops to print that in the nested for loop method. And the outer for loop will be the for loop for row. And inside that we'll take the for loop for column. So in the for loop for row for i in range n. So here n is nothing but how many rows you want in the output. This range function will give you that. So for example, if I enter n as 5, here range will be from 0 to 5. So i value can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So row value can be row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. So here i is a variable which will represent row in our program. And it is just a variable, you can take any name, okay? Any suitable names. Inside that for loop for row, in the previous pattern program, we took two for loop because in that program, first we need to print space. After that, we need to print star. That's why we need two for loop. One for loop is to print space and another for loop is to print star. In today's pattern also, here we can see we want to print space and star, space and star, right? Here also we need two for loop inside the for loop for row. So the first for loop will be the for loop for space because here we can see we want to print space before star, right? And here we can see at i0, here i is the row value. So when i is 0, we need 0 space. When i is 1, we need 1 space. When i is 2, we need 2 space. When i is 3, we need 3 space. Okay, when i is 4, we need 4 space. That is nothing but we need i space in each row, right? So that's why this is the for loop to print space. And here I'll take the range as i. We need i space in each row, right? So we are done with the for loop for space. Here we are printing the space and we are taking end is equal to empty string. We are using this end parameter to keep the control in the same line. To print the star one after the another or to print the space one after the another, we need this parameter. The default value of this end parameter is slash n in the print function. But here we don't want slash n, that's why we are changing the value. Next we have for loop to print star. So let's see how many star we want in each row. So here we can see when i is 0, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 star. When i is 0, we need 5 star. When i is 1, we need 4 star. When i is 2, we need 3 star. When i is 3, we need 2 star. And when i is 4, we need 1 star. Now if I take the stars as n minus i, here we can see when i value is 0, n is nothing but the number of row. So in this example, n value is 5, n minus i. When i is 0, 5 minus 0, so I'll get 5 star. When i is 1, 5 minus 1, I'll get 4 star. When i is 2, 5 minus 2 will get 3 star. When i is 3, n minus 3, 5 minus 3, so we'll get 2 star. When i is 4, n minus 4, that is 5 minus 4, I'll get 1 star. To print these stars, I'll generalize this as n minus i. So I'll write it as n minus i star. So in each row, I want n minus i star. Next here, we'll print the star and end is equal to 
empty string next we here we have print function this print function is to to print stars of different rows in the different line here we want to print stars of the row in the different line right that's why we need to use this print function here end value will be slash n so it will go to the new line after completing one row it will go to the new line so we are done with the program let's execute this and here we can see our pattern now if you want to do this using string multiplication method how to do that we'll comment this and here in this string multiplication first i want to print space how many space here look i want i space right so i'll take i next i want to print star i want to print how many stars n minus i star so here you'll take n minus i so let's execute this and here we can see the output okay so in this way you can write this program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care